Hi guys, welcome to my video. I'm actually going to be reviewing the Winsor & Newton Professional Watercolour Field Box. And just to say on the outside, it says it's got 12 half pans and they're artist watercolours. But what the ingenious thing is, is what's inside this lovely little box. I'm just going to put that to one side. What we've got here is a little leaflet and the leaflet tells you of all the sort of Winsor & Newton colours. They've got and the details about transparency, light fastness, etc. So here's our little box here, and it's plastic. It's it's a dark blue plastic, and it has a thumb ring at the back here, which is lovely, and the Windsor and Newton logo. So I'm just going to open that up now. It's a blue lid, but it also um, doubles up as a water box as well. So I'm just going to open this. Up there. Yeah, opens up quite easy. As you can see, first thing here, we've got a water bottle that you can actually put water in, and there's a brush here which sort of sticks out there, but you can it sort of slots in there, and as you put the lid on, that slots inside there as well. So let's have a little look at that. In a, in a quite a cute little um, metal sort of container there, so it's it sort of folds away nicely. They've really thought about everything here. So I'll just uh, pop that there. We we'll just open this up now, just open that lever. And we're opening up to a little palette here. You can see all our colours. There's also a little sponge, and you've got another little sort of compartment here you could store something in. But you've got a little silk sponge here, which is quite neat. It's quite nice for doing textures and things like that for watercolour painting. And if I just show you just a little lid there, you can fill your water up there. And so if you're out in the field, you can go and sort of have the water already in there. And that sort of doubles up as well as a palette. I'm just going to run through these colours quickly for you. You've got mixtures of lemon yellow, nickel titanium one, uh, Windsor yellow, Windsor red, Windsor blue, ultramarine, permanent sap green. Yellow ochre, raw sienna, burnt sienna, ivory black, Chinese white, and alizarin crimson. What I'd be inclined to do is maybe swap the those two there, definitely, the black and the white, um, for maybe a couple of other artist colours that, that I, I quite like. So I think so what it's, I'm going to do now is I'm going to unwrap all these and just show you the colours and what they're like and just using the box in general. So I'm just slotting the last of these colours in now, just squeezing them in there. They seem quite, well, a bit fiddly. Sort of staying in there as much as I'd like. Perhaps that's what the sponge is for. <laughs> but um, as you can see, I've got my sort of colours now. I, I, you could almost slot another pan in there so I'm gonna see if I can get hold of another pan and slot one in there just to sit, to stop that moving around just gonna fill this little water pot up now with some water and it's got a handy slot on the side here that you can slot onto the side that does actually feel very very comfortable lightweight but firm in my hand so that's really important to me if I'm out sketching and painting and I've got I've got my water here, I've got my paints, my brush, I'm ready to go. So what I thought I'd do is run through some of these colours that we've got. I've actually put them with the yellows all together. So you've got your lemon yellow, yellow titanium, um, Windsor yellow, raw sienna, yellow ochre. Actually, I think it's the other way around. And then I've got um, the two blues, Windsor and ultramarine, burnt sienna black, and then the red, the alizarin, and the green and the white. Start off with the yellow. And lemon yellow titanium is a kind of a creamy, um, light yellow colour. I'm just going to add a bit of water to that so you can see that. It's quite a nice yellow. It's quite interesting when you mix it with other colours. I'm just going to go with the Windsor yellow now. Mix the Windsor yellow. And add a bit of water to that. There we are. 
colour there. We've got the yellow ochre. That does actually look very nice. That's a lovely colour. I like that. It's very transparent. If I push the water up in there, it moves quite well. And then we've got our raw sienna. I use raw sienna quite a lot. It's a very useful colour, especially when you're painting skies and you don't want, you know, you're using it in the sky. You don't want it your, if you're using blue as well. It doesn't seem to go green like um, yellow ochre would. But that's lovely as well. Both, both nice, nice colour choices. So moving on now to, I might as well go for the black for want of a better colour. So I'm just going to pop the black on there. It's actually quite a nice colour. Um, just going to push some water in there. But it's got quite nice texture as well, that black. And then moving on to my burnt sienna, a very useful colour. I might actually use a different brush. This brush is a little bit fiddly, especially because the paints are quite new so just trying to get paint off there but that's beautiful isn't it that burnt sienna so this is my ultramarine again another favorite of mine and that's beautiful i mean these are artist watercolors and that is a stunning color just pushing some water in there as well to see the light version of that windsor blue is a really it's one of windsor and newton's i really love this color it's a really look at that it's beautiful so Pushing a bit of water in there as well, from top to bottom. You'll find that a very useful colour. Not, I'm really pleased it's in this little set as well. The Windsor and yellow, and Windsor and blue are really good colours. And saying about another really great colour is the Windsor red. It comes off quite nicely there as well. Look at that. That is a gorgeous colour. Great for poppies and things like that. I'm just going to push my water up in there. Windsor and does give you some nice colour mixes. So I'm just putting that in there. Um, then we've got our sap green, which is quite a pretty green. Nice sort of light to mid green, useful. Finally, we've got our white. You're not really gonna go and see this on camera. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna have a little tidy up of this. Swap over the white and the black, and I might actually swap over one at the yellow ochre as well. Um, just so I've got some more options and just to say if you're short of some pans you can just take that out and you could actually squeeze some paint in there which is quite useful and then slot it back in as well so you can use some of your tube paint to do that which is ideal so I've managed to um, swap a few colors around um, I've got some Daniel Smith indigo I've got some Cassart orange I've got some Holbein Lavender and some Opera Rose, which um, I like working with Opera Rose, and some Cerulean. So I've swapped out um, the Yellow Ochre, the Black, the White and the Green and actually put another pan in there. So I've actually got 13 pans now. So I tried to get another one in there, but it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. I didn't want to break anything. Um, this is the Lavender which is a really pretty colour. It's quite sort of pastel shade. Yeah. It's a really pretty colour. And then I've got the Opera Rose. This is Windsor & Newton Opera Rose. It's a gorgeous, almost fluorescent pink. I can't do without it sometimes, especially flower painting and things like that, or just being quite experimental and things. It's just such a gorgeous, beautiful, Transparent pink there. Obviously there's other colours I'd like to have in here as well and I can swap them over. It depends what you want to paint as well, you know. But this um, Cassart orange is, is quite stunning actually. I just it's they're artist watercolours. I've only just started to use them, but it's quite it really got there, it's kind of a red orange, it's quite lovely. And we've I've got the indigo which is there you can see it's a little bit more bluey in color and of course cerulean as well 
it's not really that cerulean is not unlike the Windsor the Windsor is just a bit darker and the cerulean will give me some softer colors which I would like as you well. can see this is an ideal little paint box and I'd definitely be taking this out taking this on holiday with me and sketching with obviously the colors that I've decided to use um, as well. yeah I would really recommend it I mean if you want to swap around your colors it's easy to do so and I've actually managed to get an extra one in there as well so I can still sort of put my sponge in there to keep the others from straying as well so there's not as much moving around sort of thing Thank you for watching this video i hope you've i hope it's helped you and if you've got any queries or comments put them in the comment section below and if you'd like to follow me please subscribe to my channel thanks again bye for now